Hi, it's Anthony from okuplay.com and today we're checking out the Aligo or Simon VR protective cover for the Oculus Quest 2. This is a silica rubber cover for the Oculus Quest. Uh, protects you from any bumps, scrapes or knocks that the headset might get, either if you're wearing it or if it falls down onto the floor itself. It's very simple silicone cover. Uh, there's not really much to it. It's very easy to install and um, it's very light material. All the cutouts are available on the actual cover itself to allow sensors or heating to escape. And um, you've got some little rubber parts here that helps it protect. So let's just see how easy it is to install on the Quest 2. Um, it's very flimsy. It reminds me of like a Veruca sock if you've ever had to experience those in the past. But um, that's it. It's a shame it's a little, not a, uh, a little bit thicker in plastic and you'll see why in a minute. So we're going to get this on our quest. All you have to do is find which way is up. So you've got the uh, volume buttons. So that's the underside. So we've got to spin this around and uh, it just literally slides on like that. And there you go. That's pretty much it. That's the install process. Um, the buttons kind of line up there okay, the sensors also line up pretty well. You've got these little rubber plungers, if you smack straight into a surface they're going to protect you. You've got a, um, some cooling um, vents here to, to prevent uh, any excess heat coming from the actual headset. Because um, you've actually, I didn't realise that until I put it on that it kind of covers over that line there. So uh, you've got some heat dissipation from that line, I guess. And on the other side, you've got um, the alignment for the buttons, for volume, and the two microphone uh, sensors here as well. You can see me kind of forcing this back. Uh, and that's the problem with this uh, cover in that it basically is easy to slide forward see and it's not rigid enough to stay on your quest so i don't know what you think about that let us know in the comments if you think that's that's good enough um how could they have solved that maybe they could actually have a hook around um, and it sort of attaches to the bottom between these two sections there's not much room but i think that would definitely be doable and uh, so that's basically how the Aligo protector looks on the Quest 2. All right, so that's it installed on the Quest 2. Um, it's pretty straightforward. My stickers here are making it look a little bit different, but um, you can kind of get the idea of what it looks. The color is not too bad, it's quite a good match. The only thing I said during the installation is that it is very easy to uh, come off and come loose. It will stay on there, but if you do knock it or rub it against something, it will just come unlodged and with that might mean that the sensor covers start to go over the lenses and you might just lose the Guardian as the rubber comes off the actual headset itself. So that's to bear in mind. If you've got any connectors that are inserted like a headset or a uh, Oculus Link cable, that will at least keep the cover on and keep it intact. But there really is not much on this side uh, to anchor it in place and as I said you could probably they could have probably um, had some material that latches over the top here but um, un unfortunately that's not the case. So this is the Aligo VR protector for the Oculus Quest 2. If you found this video helpful give us a like, give us a subscribe, it really helps us out and I'll see you on the next one. Cheers, bye.